I'm with Catherine Heaton, Chair of ITSMF Australia, and um, we're enjoying the 15th Annual ITSMF Australia National Conference, uh, Lead It 2012. Um, Catherine, what do you see as being the, the big issues for IT service management over the last 12 months? Um, I think, Gerard, from my perspective, um, the challenges have been around resourcing. Um, I think that service managers are being asked to do a lot more with um, a lot less staff, and I think that's definitely been a challenge for people. Um, and I think also people understanding the value of service management, and I think that that is becoming difficult for people to, to really get you know, why we do this particular job and, and how we do it and what we need to be able to do that job. So I think those, those two things uh, are difficult. Okay, and looking forward, um, are, are there more big challenges uh, you know, on, on the horizon? Uh, what, what are the big challenges moving forward for IT service management as a community and as a profession and as an industry? Um, I think the big challenges are the fact that there's just new technology out there all the time. Um, there's, you know, there's been a lot of articles in the recent bulletin, except, for example, around bring your own device, and I think that's a challenge for people to, to make sure that you, that uh, their staff are not uh, breaking processes by, you know, having their own devices or um, using technologies that are not accepted into a into an organisation. So I think definitely, you know, that's becoming more and more of a challenge. And I think, as Chris Dancy mentioned in one of our um, early presentations yesterday morning, you know, the, the fact that someone will go and, um, you know, look for a new application to, to do something that they want to do, and that's not, you know, an enterprise ready application, all of those types of things are, are causing a lot of concern for people, I think, and, and difficulty. Okay, so what is the role of um, an independent industry association such as IT Service Management Forum? Um, what is the role in, in sort of, you know, bringing some control to this, uh, this chaos? And, um, you know, why is, it, uh, is, it, is the ITSMF an important organisation that the ITSM community should uh, enhance and contribute to? Um, I think the role that we have is about education more than anything else. Um, making sure that service managers know uh, what's in the industry and what the new things are that are coming up, um, give them information about how they might manage those new things that are happening, um, giving them the opportunity to talk to other service managers and actually get an understanding of what other people are doing and how they're managing um, all you know the, the different things that are occurring. Um, and I think you know trying to give those people an opportunity to come and share their stories as well, so share them with the, the wider community. So I think that's why we're very relevant still. Okay, that's, that, that knowledge sharing is fantastic, but also from um, the vendor community as well, I think, to come together and to start working towards um, you know, standards and contributing to, to ongoing development of the frameworks that, that you know, process frameworks that opera, operate in, in large IT or large and small IT organisations. Um, the vendor community really needs to get involved and contribute as well. Would, is that fair? I think so. And I think that, you know, that this conference, it gives people that opportunity to actually, you know, meet other vendors and, and look at what they're doing, as well as talk to the, the delegates, obviously. And I think that that constant communication and collaboration that they have between each other allows them to be involved as much as, you know, somebody who might come and present something to the conference. The vendors are just as involved because they, they're, they're actually at this conference, they're talking to people every day, they're finding out what their, you know, difficulties are. And so there can be some solutions put forward, I guess, in their software or in their process that they use. You know, they can look for those solutions by talking to those people and finding out what it is that's, that's difficult for them to do. Okay, we're on the Gold Coast, the uh, first time in Queensland for quite a while. Um, the, the conference this year has a really good vibe about it and there's lots of people here. Um, what's, what's new at uh, Lead It 2012 that we haven't seen before and, and, and what's, what's working really well so far? Um, I guess new is um, the Ignite sessions, so the five minute presentations. I think that's a, a really different way of presenting something and I think that there's been a huge amount of success with that format. It's something that's quite innovative and, and we really wanted to embrace that this year. 
Um, we've had, uh, I guess our content is good. I've, I've been speaking to people um, over the day today and a lot of people have commented on how the content is very practical. So they're actually going away with really good ideas and that's something that we've really, um, I, I guess, tried to promote over the last few years. We, we went through, I think, a stage where some of the content was more strategy or you know less of that case study and now we've I think we've got that that mix right and so that would be one of the things that I think we're really proud of that's been a real change this year is that level of practicality associated with the presentations. Okay and it's only 12 months away till till lead it to 2013. Um, can you tell us a bit about what's happening next year for the conference? Um, well, next year we're actually uh, returning to Canberra. Um, we had a very success successful conference there a few years ago. Um, it's the uh, 100th, uh, 100th year anniversary in Canberra, I believe, as well. Um, and uh, we are uh, really looking forward to that. I think that we're going to try and you know, encourage people to come to Canberra and actually get out and have a look at some of the excellent things that there are in Canberra. Um, and you know, really encourage some of our international visitors to come back again. Um, we've had a very good international contingent this year and I think that that helps with the communication across the world and you know, with the sharing of people's stories across the world, not just in Australia. And uh, I think Canberra's conference will be really exciting um, for that reason, I bring those people back. Okay, ITSMF Australia is um, uh, part of a global community. There's a 87 chapters, I believe, um, that uh, Mariana Billington, the, the international chair, told us yesterday morning. Um, what role does Australia play in the global community uh, for IT Service Management Forum and, and I guess the IT Service Management community um, you know, outside of the forum as well? Um, it was 57. It will be 87 soon, hopefully, but it was 57. Um, Australia has been quite involved in the international community, particularly over the last few months. Um, we've been part of a, a major chapters working group, which is looking at the structure of the international um, board and how that works, and we've contributed to that. Um, we've also developed relationships with uh, some of our closer um, neighbours, for example New Zealand, um, starting to you know, really develop some good um, contacts into Asia as well. And again, that's all about sharing that story and, and trying to get those people involved in what we're doing here, having the opportunity to, to talk to them about what they're doing in their countries. Um, some of the, the Asian chapters are very small and so you know, hopefully we can help them with, with knowledge and content as well and, and that's why we're, we're very involved in that international community. Okay, we've also got some local stars uh, involved in sort of um, standards development and, and international publications. Um, tell us a bit about uh, the work that um, that Erin Castile and uh, um, and Karen Ferris are doing on the international stage. Yeah, so we've got a couple of people involved. So Karen Ferris, obviously, for, particularly from a publications and a white papers point of view, um, and uh, she's involved in the. Um, I think of the name of the group, sorry, off the top of my head. Um, and, uh, and Claire's obviously involved in standards as well. So they're actually involved in reviewing those standards and being part of the working groups that are, to get, that are pulled together to actually discuss those standards and make sure that they're um, you know, documented and distributed and accepted um, and any improvements to those standards that need to occur um, you know, over time. Thanks very much.